ngo fana tati onko na koni wuringi ringi demo shi ngo tanye ku wuringi ringi yota fu yota fu toike pe halane no ngo ku dila dila kucha na kani fi ilonga pe halala na mbibia abava kani fa o o benefiti o shi long eli golo ka pe as the nation is still reeling from the aftermath of the fish rod scandal, a group of protesters decided to camp at the ACC, demanding for Noah to issue a response on their petition, which they recently submitted to his office. The petition cited several high-profile cases of corruption that included the unaccounted for 660 million of GIPF, 30 million of the Social Security Commission, another 30 million of the Cora Awards, over 200 million of the SME Bank, 2.2 million from Namco, and about 10 billion from the recent fish rod scandal. The group demanded that NOAA immediately steps down as a result of the slow finalization of the country's biggest corruption cases. <laughs> Tate no kuri mombele wange no yantiko rwabishina helu ufana kucha ye on number wa yantiko rwabishina oshilongo ashishi de tate no a imari ote ikane kenga shi yakana mesem ibenga yakana mo fish lotam yakana meko lam imari watashite ya denga an o o miti mapedo tashijo no kuri penya tafuta imari wa epangel nde o epangel heletelesha alusho takani fai yeah, all all it can be happy. Had to only get that no akucha. Ngenge kuli pohelu fa na tati ye on on ti wakorwa bishi na moshilongo. Na to korwa bishi na moshilongo ashish. De no am oheli popular kucha. Vati hadulu kukona kona e minister yilo ekjeka tui bulanga ngashi makwa tero umprestende makwa tero fislota makwa tero ni mayo. Shero shuwe te fiope fe pehenas. In response to the demands, the ACC's public relations officer clarified that to date, of all the cases cited by the protesters, the ACC is only responsible for investigations into the unaccounted funds of the Cora Awards, Namco and the recent fish rod scandal, of which she says investigations are still ongoing. The case of millions lost in the social security, um, this case too, it was also successfully investigated by the Namibian police force. And uh, if I can remember very well, also the social security case um, was in the Namibian High Court and um, also this case has nothing to do with the Anti-Corruption Commission and uh, because the, the Anti-Corruption Act also similar to the GIPF was yet not enacted uh, by the time the Social Security case came up. We also had an SME Bank uh, case that was also cited in the petition and uh, this one I would say yes, um, this case is um, currently under investigation but unfortunately not by the Anti-Corruption Commission. The reason being is that upon preliminary evaluation and or putting everything into consideration, this case is categorized as money laundry um, case. So in, in the Namibian police force, we have that unit that deal with money laundry uh, uh, related cases. And uh, so this case is not with the Anti-Corruption Commission. As for the NAMCO, that one was investigated by the Anti-Corruption Commission. And as we speak, um, advices to the board on what should be done was given. So I'll just urge everybody or uh, anyone out there who might want more information in this particular case that ACC has nothing to do with it, has nothing to do with the GIPF case, has nothing to do with the Social Security case. And at the moment, we are done with the CORA. Uh, um, Cora case. Um, the last case that was also cited in the petition is the case on the 10 billion um, uh, plus minus 10 billion lost in the fishing sector. This one, I would say that yes, this one is under investigation by the under the anti corruption commission. And uh, on this particular case, we cannot say more as we all know that uh, uh, this case is still in court and investigation is underway. And we know that once the investigation is completed in this case, 
And once, once the Anti-Corruption Commission gathered all in evidence that they could gather, definitely the feedback as to uh, what will happen further will definitely be given. According to Nito Amata, Paul Esnoa, the Director General of the National Anti-Graft Body, is yet to give an official response to the protesters on the matter.